Good morning, superstars. I hope you've had a wonderful day. Today's story has to do with a nursery rhyme that I think we all know. Let's review it just to be sure. All right, it's called Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. And all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. That's the nursery rhyme we mostly know. And guess what? I think I spotted Humpty Dumpty up on that wall on the cover of this book. This book is by Dan Santac, and it's called After the Fall. Our nursery rhyme kind of ends with Humpty Dumpty on the ground and no one can put him back together again. But this book is going to tell us what happens next. It's called After the Fall, How Humpty Dumpty Got Back Up Again. I hope you enjoy this story. <sighs> my name is Humpty Dumpty. This was my favorite spot, high up on the wall. I know it's an odd place for an egg to be, but I loved being close to the birds. Then, one day, I fell. I'm sort of famous for that last part. Folks called it the Great Fall, which sounds a little grand. It was just an accident but it changed my life. King's County Hospital. Fortunately, all the King's men managed to put me back together. Oh, I'm so glad. Well, most of me, but there were some parts that couldn't be healed with bandages and glue. You spot Humpty on the floor. How do you think he's feeling? Pretty sad, I think. He doesn't want to go up on his bunk bed. Do you think he's maybe scared of falling off like he fell off the wall? After that day, I became afraid of heights. I was so scared that it kept me from enjoying some of my favorite things. He couldn't use the ladder to go up to the bright shiny cereals. He stayed on the floor. I walked past the wall every day and I would think about climbing that ladder again. I really miss the birds and being high above the city, but I could never do it because I know that accidents can happen. So is Humpty going to try again? Because he's feeling what? He's feeling scared, right? I eventually settled for watching the birds from the ground. It wasn't the same, but it was better than nothing. Then one day, an idea flew by. Making planes was harder than I thought. It was easy to get cuts and scratches, but day after day, I kept trying and trying. Ooh, what's that word for when you keep trying even when things are hard? Perseverance, good job. Until I got it just right. He had perseverance, even though it was hard until he got his airplane just right. And what does it look like? My plane was perfect and it flew like nothing could stop it. I hadn't felt that happy in a long time. It wasn't the same as being up in the sky with the birds, but it was close enough. Unfortunately, accidents happen. Uh-oh, what happened? They always do. Do you guys see what's happening? There's Humpty. Where is the plane going? It's going over the wall. I almost walked away again, but then I thought about all the time I'd spent working on my plane and all the other things I'd missed. Do you think he'll climb the wall? But he's too afraid, right? Let's see. I decided I was going to climb that wall. But the higher I got, the more nervous I felt. I didn't want to admit it. I was terrified. Terrified means really afraid. I didn't look up, I didn't look down, I just kept climbing one step at a time. Until I was no longer afraid. Look at him on top of the wall. His hands are up, how do you think he's feeling now? Proud. Maybe now you won't think of me as that egg who was famous for falling. Hopefully, you'll remember me as the egg who got back up. What's happening? Crack? Crack? What are you noticing? What's coming out of the shell? Are those feathers? Look at 
those giant feathers and the egg portions coming off. Guys, what's usually inside of an egg? A bird. Let's see. About who? Let's read that last sentence again. Hopefully, you'll remember me as the egg who got back up and learned how to fly. Is he an egg anymore? No. He is a bird. All of his eggshell broke away and his inner bird came out. Wow, boys and girls, I love this story because it talks about how sometimes we feel afraid, right? Sometimes we feel afraid and nervous to do something. We don't want to try something um, just in case it doesn't work out. Now, boys and girls, of course, we're not going to go climb up on walls like Humpty Dumpty did because we don't want to get hurt. We want to make safe choices, but we do want to try things that um, we're maybe afraid of. Like, I was so afraid of trying to ride a bike, but when I tried and practiced and practiced and I persevered, I got the hang of it, and I became a bike rider. Just like that, boys and girls, I hope you show perseverance and don't let your fear keep you down. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.